Hello and welcome back to Music Theory Basics. This is chapter 3. We're looking at the circle of fifths. The image shown you below sums up the circle of fifths as a seminal figure in music theory. You can download your copy below this lesson title if you're watching this at readpiano.com or you could just visit readpiano.com and download it for free. Starting at 12 o'clock we have the parallel keys of C major and A minor with no sharps or flats. Moving clockwise to 1 o'clock we arrive at G major or E minor with one sharp, starting the journey of keys with sharps in them. Moving counterclockwise to 11 o'clock we arrive at F major or D minor with one flat, starting the journey of keys with flats in them. The distance between each new step in the circle is the interval of a perfect fifth, a term we will discuss in later chapters in this course. Moving clockwise from 12 o'clock we're using ascending fifths and moving counterclockwise from 12 o'clock we're using descending fifths, hence the name circle of fifths. From a keyboard view, the perfect fifth is a distance of seven half steps. This could also be viewed as five scale steps, remembering to count the starting key as number one. However, the circle of fifths doesn't merely show us the key signatures, it can be used as a great help for harmonizing, composing and transposing songs. If we view the key centers as chords, the general rule is that the closer two or more chords are within the circle, the more related they are. And the contrary, the further you move away from one chord in the circle to another, the more unrelated or out it will sound. Try playing a chord progression like D, 2, 3, 4, F minor, 3, 4, B minor, 3, 4, then E flat, 3, 4, and you will hear what we're talking about. If for example we're writing a song in the key center of E, the six most used and likely chords would be E, of course, and its five closest neighbors would be A, B, F sharp minor, C sharp minor, and G sharp minor. And if you're trying to figure out the chords to one of your favorite songs, start by identifying which key it's in and then try using the neighboring chords found in the circle of fifths.